First give our heavenly Father, whom all bless and flow. We greet our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. We say, well, welcome to St. Bethlehem Michigan Baptist Church Worship Hour. We thank God that He allowed us to see another day's journey. And we're so grateful that you have joined us this morning. And see, so we say welcome to everyone out there on Facebook, man. We thank God that you are here, and we want each and every one to pray with us and pray for us, and let God have his way. So we say, allow the Holy Spirit to feel his presence, and let us worship God in spirit and truth. Amen? Amen. 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 Of God in him. 
I have just read to you 2 Corinthians 5, Scripture 16 to 21. May there be a special blessing for the hearers and readers of this soul in the divine word. Let us rise, I pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, O oh, gracious and merciful God, we come once again worshiping you in spirit and in truth. We come, Father God, thanking you for another day's journey. Thanking you for leading, guiding, teaching, and keeping us into a new year with renewed hope and faith in our Lord Jesus the Christ. But Father God, we come knowing that every year has a number. We pray that you revive, redeem, and restore us for thy kingdom work, for thy will to be done, knowing your will will be done. Now, Father God, we come just thanking you for enabling us to keep looking to the hills of which our help coming from, knowing that all our help coming from the Lord. Now, Father God, we come thanking you for bringing us down through the years, through the storms, physically as well as spiritually. Father God, thank you for being with us with all the uncertainties and turmoil that is going on in the land. We just want to say thank you, Father God. Now, Father God, we ask you to bless our congregation, individually, well as collectively. Have a special blessing for those that are sick and shut in. And have a special blessing for those that may be going through bereavement. And have a special blessing for all those standing in need of prayer. Now, Father God, let us remember my brothers and sisters that are first responders. First responders and medical personnel in the land. Father God, we thank you for sustaining us through the pandemic. Thanking you for sustaining us through the protests. And thanking you for sustaining us through all the injustice that's going on in the land. Now, Father God, we know you're a God that work all things together for good. For those who love him and call according to his purposes. Now, Father God, we ask you to have a special blessing for all those out there that may be homeless today. In need of food, clothing, and shelter. Have a special blessing for those on the dangerous highways and byways. Remember those that are behind us at home and hospital walls. And let's not forget our brothers and sisters behind jail cells and prison cell walls. Knowing that a church that empowered the captain will set them free in the name of Jesus the Christ. Knowing you will keep protection near and danger and far. But Father God, we come knowing you're God to reign on all of our circumstances. Yes, yes. Reign on all our problems mm -hmm. and reign on all our situations knowing that you would deliver us from evil and confidence in the presence of thy enemies. Mm -hmm. Now, Father God, we come knowing that you are God and God all by thyself. Mm -hmm. Father God, we know that you bless those that are afflicted with some illness and some disease. Mm -hmm. We know you are God that watch over all those that are on that bed of affliction this morning, knowing the persecuted will be forsaken and those that are down trusted will be cast down but never destroyed. But Father, Father God, for those on the bed of reflection, help them understand that weeping may endure during the night. But joy, do come in the morning. Mm -hmm. Knowing there's peace in the midst of the storm. Mm -hmm. Knowing the race is not always given to the strong or the swift, but to the one who endure. Mm -hmm. Now, Father God, we must learn to press on, church. Press on, press on, on church. Knowing yeah. you have fought the good fight yeah. and finished that course. But most of all, you kept the faith. Knowing that Jesus is still in the saving and miracle business. Mm -hmm. That same Jesus who's a heart fixer and a mind regulator. Yes, sir. My way in and my way out. Mm -hmm. Who brought me from 2020 and entered me into 2021. Father God, we know you, Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Who sits high and look low and watches over his own. Who watches over his youth. Who Satan's out to seek, kill, and destroy even though he's a defeated foe. But Father God, we pray that I you keep that changing hand and that unchanging hand, knowing that they must learn to walk by faith and not by sight. Now, Father God, we ask you to have a special blessing on the men and women on the battlefield. Let them know that vengeance is not theirs, it's the Lord. Mm -hmm. Father God, now we pray that you have a special blessing on each and every preacher of the gospel today. That they preach the word to someone, they come down the aisle and set you as our Lord and Savior in Jesus Christ. Now, Father God, we're thanking you for once again for being God that sets high and look low and watches over his own. Now, Father God, we come thanking you for letting nothing separate us from the love of God. No life, no death, no death, no height, no powers, no principalities, or no angels, no things that are present, or no things that are yet to come. We just want to say thank you, Father God, once again for allowing us stand amongst these four consecrated walls. Just to honor, praise, and worship your holy and divine name. We just want to say thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
morning, saints. It's time for our scripture reading, and we're going to read from the book of Numbers, chapter 11, verses 1 through 3. That's Numbers, chapter 11, verses 1 through 3. And the word of God reads, Now when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. For the Lord heard it, and his anger was aroused. So the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed some in the outskirts of the camp. Then the people cried out to Moses, and when Moses prayed to the Lord, the fire was quenched. So he called the name of the place Tiberia, because the fire of the Lord has burned among them. Amen. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Let us pray. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you as humbly as we know how, Lord God. Yes, yes. Lord God, we come to you trusting in your divine word, Lord mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we come to you with thanksgiving on our heart for that yes. divine word, your son, Jesus the Christ, Lord God. We thank you for blessing us, Lord God, to get up this Sunday morning to lift up thy name, Lord God. Yes. We thank you for keeping the, the death angel away one more yes. time, Lord mm -hmm. God. Thank you for keeping that hedge of protection about us, Lord God. Yeah. Because we trust in you. Just mm -hmm. like your word said, let there be light, Lord God. Yes. And there was, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We trust that you have said your word and your word is going to be real among men, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, we keep and hold dear to our heart your word, Lord God. And we trust and, and believe your word, Lord God. We believe your word for Clarksville. We believe mm -hmm. your word for Tennessee, Lord yes. God. And we believe your word for this United States of America. Yes. Lord God, yes. we trust in you, Lord God, and we know that you didn't bring us this far to leave us now. Mm -hmm. So, Lord God, I ask that you just keep us. Keep us. Hold us, Lord God. Hold us. Mold us and make us what you would have us to be, Lord God. Mm -hmm. So, and when we've done all we've done, we can do at this place, Lord God. Yes. we finished this pilgrim's journey. We can hear the words, well done, Lord yes. God. Lord God, we pray a special blessing for the angel of this house, Lord God. Mm -hmm. That when he steps forth to do your work, Lord God. Do your work. And someone cries out, what must I do to be saved, Lord yeah. God? That he feel a healing upon this land, Lord yeah. God. These and all the blessings we pray. In your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. First, give an honor to our Heavenly Father, whom all, whom all blessings flows, who have confidence, our deacons, mothers, trustees, and to all you, my brothers and sisters, by creation and adoption. We greet you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. The Lord is good, as much as everlasting, and his truth endured to all generations. Just want to take time to say uh, we thank you for uh, continuing to join in on, on, with us during our Sunday school hour and our Bible study and our prayer meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday. We want to encourage each and every one of you to, to, to stay connected to the church. We live in a, in a day and age that we never have experienced before. Uh, but yet and still, we know that God is still in control. Yeah. So we encourage you to continue to, to reach out to your brothers and sisters. Uh, continue to stay connected to, to, to your brothers and sisters. Check on one another. We all are family, and we all need each and every one. It is all our responsibility to be our brother's keeper. So if somebody hadn't called you, you call them. Don't be ashamed to call to check on somebody. So that's just compassion. And that's part of being a fruit of the spirit. We ought to all have concern for one another. Amen? Amen. Amen. That was a word this morning. Let me get to the ten. That was a word this morning. In, in, in the book of Numbers, that 11th chapter, Reverend Coppers was so kind to read for us. In those first three verses, it reads, Numbers 11, 1, 2, and 3. And when the people complained, it displeased, it, de it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord brought among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place Tabir, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. I want to use as a subject this morning, talk about this for a little while. Stop complaining. Start praising him. Stop complaining and start praising him. Well. My brothers and sisters, we, have, we live in a time and a day and age where we do more complaining than praising. We live in a day and age where we complain about everything. And the text before us it is the nation of Israel has committed a great harm. They have ever exceeded them. They have transgressed against the Lord God Almighty. These members of the Wilderness Missionary Church where Dr. Moses' pastor are guilty of complaining. And it's important this morning that we look at their sin. It is important that we examine their action and their deeds. Then we really know how devastating, how destructive the sin of complaining really is. Look at just what happened this past week. Because people don't get their way the vote don't go their way. They complain. And when they start complaining, look what happened. My brothers and sisters, there's no unity. There's no unity when you don't start taking things your way. It ain't about my way or your way or you win. Or you, but it's about us putting aside our differences. Because the only way, only way to matter is his way. If it's not God's way, then it's not the right way. So my brothers and sisters, in our text, we see the same thing happen, some complaining. Complaining is not the answer. Our job is not to complain here on earth, but to praise him. So the text said, it did please the Lord that the people complain. So we examined the text this morning. Let us look at a few things that, that, that happened. The first thing we know is the, the conduct of the complainers. The conduct 
out of the complaint. If you notice in the text, Moses does, does not tell us what the people complain about. Yeah. And the reason he doesn't tell us is a, about what they complain about is because they complain about everything. Mm. Listen to me now. They complain so much and they complain so often that the, every time they open their mouth, they were complaining about something. We are living in a day and a time of many of us who profess to be saved, who profess to have the road washed in the blood of the Lamb, who profess to be the sons and daughters of the Almighty God. They have this contagious spirit because we find ourselves complaining about everything too. And if the truth be told, some of you know what I'm talking about. Because if it's not too hot, then it's too cold. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And, and you, 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 every, every five minutes who's in the building, somebody come to want to tell the brothers, well, turn it up or turn it down. If it's not too small, it's too big. If it's not too wet, it's too dry. My brothers and sisters, it, it, it's, either, it's raining too much. Or, or, or the sun has been shining too much. My brothers and sisters, it, even on your job, you find those complaining. I don't believe he gave, he gave me that same job the last three weeks. You ought to be happy you got a job. We find ourselves complaining about everything. And just in case there's a complaint here this morning, I need to tell you that you need to be careful with this type of spirit. Because when you stop at anything, because you won't stop at anything if you continue to complain about everything. Let me say it again. You won't stop at anything if you want to continue to complain about everything. But what bothers me about in the text is that in chapter 10, they had just left the mountain of God. The, the record reveals that they traveled a three-day journey and began to complain. They praised God at the mountain. They complained on, on the way to the land of Michigan Honey. But they were on the mountain. Everything was good in the presence of the Almighty God. But when they left the mountain, on their way to the land of Lincoln Honey, they began to, to praise God. The Lord had been good to them. The Lord had been mighty good to them. At the mountain, they praised God. What did they praise God for? For, for? for putting the wind in the full Nelson and making a freeway down the Red Sea. They praised God one moment, complained the next moment. We live in a day and age, we live in a day and time when, where it don't take long for something was to go from praising to complaining. My brothers and sisters, just look at Job. Yeah. Job, Job, Job had everything going his way one moment. Then the next moment, he had everything taken from him. But, but, but the text says that then Job arose, went in his mantle, shaved his head, and fell down on the ground and worshiped God. And, he, and the text says, he said, naked I came out of my mother's womb, naked I shall return out. Yeah. The Lord gave, yeah. the Lord had taken away. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord give, and the Lord take it away. Yeah. We got to learn to bless the Lord yeah. at all times. Time. Because God has been given. Mm -hmm. No matter what we might think, God is a good God. When you come to God's house and have a, have a good time, yeah. you need to appreciate that. But my brothers and sisters, the problem here is that when you leave God's house, just as soon as the business is given, we have some folks to start complaining. Yeah. 
Now notice that that ones that get to complain was on the outskirts of the camp. If you look at the text though, it's right there in the text. The one that always dragging the feet, the ones that are slowful, lazy, immature, and messy, the ones that was not involved in what the Lord was trying to do. And even when you examine the church today, the ones who are complaining are the ones who are not involved with the Lord's work. Have you ever noticed that the ones who are always complaining about the choir, singing the same song, are the ones who never come to choir rehearsal? The ones that always complain about the money. If you check the books now, if you check the books, you check what they give. They might be the one that never pay their tithes and offer. The ones who are always complaining about the ones who are, who are not doing anything. They're the ones that sit back and complain about everybody else. Why? Because that's just how they are. Wanna want to come to prime meeting, but we're sure at a at a at a at a, at a business meeting. Call themselves, lift up, holy hands, but won't lift up a hand to help anybody. They are the ones complaining. Why? Because they just want to complain about something. They want to keep the church from doing the will of the Lord. But my brothers and sisters, not only did it say that, that they complained, but the text says they disregarded the goodness of the Lord. Well. They failed to realize how good the Lord had been to them. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, I believe we all can go in that boat. You know as well as I that the Lord has been mighty good to them. Yeah. Think about what the Lord had done with them. He had brought them out of the Egyptian bondage. Yeah. Had made a freeway down the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. he, he had led them by a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Yeah. He had gained them manna from on heaven. Yeah. He, he had gained them water from a rock. Mm -hmm. He gained them a victory over the Amalots. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, they did not have a J.C. Penny or a Belts to go to. But, they, but, but as they grew out of their shoes, and their clothing. God still gave them clothing and shoes. Mm -hmm. But my brothers and sisters, just as they disregarded the goodness of the Lord and started complaining, many of us today disregard God's goodness. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, just look at it, just look at our look at our own record. How he has brought us from slavery through through, through segregation. Had brought us through 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 through, through public schools. Yeah. Had brought us to see many of us see retirement. We got to see the first African American president. God has brought us through the wars. Yeah. And even through this storm right now we in with all this injustice, social injustice, killing, God has still kept us. And we got a we got a reason mm -hmm. not to complain. Yeah. Yeah. We got a reason to lift hold the hand yeah. and praise God. Mm -hmm. We should never disregard how good God has been to us. Mm -hmm. Because God has been mighty, mighty good. Yeah, so we can we can lift hold the hand. We can shout glory, how it come. It could have been me. And let me rephrase that. It should have been me. We can think about the ones who did die. We should say, well, he, he was better than me. It should have been me. But God has left us here yeah. for us to have a testimony yeah. about the goodness of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But not only, not only does the text say that we should, that we should they disregard the goodness, but the text also reveals to us that there was consequences yeah. of their complaining. Yeah. The record reveals that their complaining displeased the Lord. And if the Lord was displeased with their complaining, you know he should have, he should have not pleased with the house. Mm -hmm. If he didn't like them complaining, 
You know he don't write us to complain. But bro, this is all I'm trying to tell you. You have no reason to complain. And I need to tell you, we have to be careful about doing things that displease the Lord. The Bible says that they're complaining displeased the Lord. Well, not only did it please the Lord, but he heard their complaining. It's important to understand that we serve a God who hear who, who, who all things, who see all things, yeah. and who know all things. Yeah. I see my brothers and sisters, you think about it. Here you raising children, and here they are in the room complaining about the food they eating, the clothes they wear. Well, and here you are getting up every morning, going down to that old job, trying to provide for them. And, and they don't care about the things you're doing for them. It, 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 it'll make you mad. It, it'll displease you. But yet and still, we serve a God that we do the same thing to. We complain about God about it's this way and it's that way. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 we complain about just about everything. But yet and still, we need to look to the hills yeah. from yeah. which comes that help. Yeah. And we need to stop complaining and stop praising him. So Lord, I thank you, thank you for being as well as it is. Lord, I thank you yeah. for bringing me this far. Yeah. You know, he didn't have to bring us through 2020, but yet yeah. he brought us, mm -hmm. he kept us, and he continued to bring a way out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people try to take and complain, mumbling on their breath. But there's a divine eavesdropper who who all days yeah. that has been said he heard Mary complain yeah. about Moses. And the Lord got angry. And when the Lord gets angry, he sent the fire to destroy them on the outskirts of the camp. All I'm about is trying to tell y'all, you gotta be careful complaining to God. Because God has been too good to us. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna leave y'all with these two things. Instead of complaining about God, you need to fall down on your knees and start praying. Because the Bible says, if my people yeah. were to call by my name, yeah. to humble themselves, and pray, mm, yeah. seek my face, turn from the wicked way. Then when I hear from heaven, and forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Notice now, notice what God tells Solomon. Let me bring it down for you. He says, if there's a possibility, my people, that's personal, will humble themselves, that's preparation, and pray, that's power, and seek my face, that's a privilege. And turn from the wicked ways, that's progress. And then, what I hear from heaven, yeah. that's a procedure. And forgive those sins, that's a pardon. And heal the lamb, that's a blessing. In other words, God tells Solomon, if we, if we would just put the spotlight on his name, yeah. if we would just put his name in spotlight, humble ourselves, seek his face, and forsake all our weakness. Then he said, Then we hear from heaven and heal our land. My brothers and sisters, we got to learn how to pray, fall down on our knees, and call on an almighty God, call on a, a merciful God, call on a, a graceful God. Because, because we all have a reason to thank God. When my brother and sister, when you get through praying, you got to learn how to praise his holy name. Mm -hmm. Paul tells the church to rejoice regardless of whatever come our way. We ought to rejoice mm -hmm. and give God the glory. Yeah. My brother and sister, Paul, he is worthy. No matter what comes our way, no matter how bad this world might treat us down here, no matter how bad they forsake us, do us wrong, wrong, we still belong to him. 
We got a God to serve and a God to glorify. We, we have been bought with a price. We can't do as we want to do. And we sure can't do as they do. Why? Because we got to live a hallelujah Christian life. And my brothers and sisters, we got to be Christ-like. Because we got to let our lives be a living example to, to let the world see there is a God. And he sits out. My brothers and sisters, because he is worthy. He's worthy. Because he's the one that stepped out on nothing and took nothing and created the heaven and world. He's worthy of our praise. He's the one that took dust and made man. He's the one that put man to sleep and took his will and made woman. He's the one that took man and took woman and put them together yeah. and made everybody else. Mm -hmm. He's worthy to be our praise. Yeah. He's the one that took a seed mm -hmm. that made a bush, took a bush that made a tree. Yeah. He's worthy to be praised. He took his son, put him on that tree, mm -hmm. put nails in his hand, yeah. nails in his feet, mm -hmm. put a spear in his side, yeah. blood came out of his side. Mm -hmm. And they sang the song, what can wash that sin away? Nothing but the blood. Yes, my brothers, he's worthy to be praised. Yes, his son died out on the old rugged tree. His son died for your sins and my sins. He, but dying ain't the end of the story. For early that third appointed morning, he rose. He rose with all power. And because he lived, because he lived, we can tell the story. And this is why we praise his name, because he has not forgotten about us. He, he promised never to leave us, nor forsake us. We got a God to serve. We got a God to glorify. Ain't God good? And this is my story, because he could have left us out in the mommy clay. We was on our way to hell. One fit to live and one ready to die. But Jesus, Mary's baby, pumped us out. I the Marvin Clay. He chose you. He chose me. And we gotta stand up and let the world know that for God I live and for God I die. Ain't God good? Oh, what a God we serve. Stand up and praise his holy name. God is good, God is great, and God is awesome. I don't know what the world might do. The Lord shall be praised. God bless you. And God keep you. Stop complaining. And start praising. There might be one today. There might be one in the in the pardon of your sins. You can come give your life to Jesus Christ. Come by letter, Christian experience, or candidate for baptism. But come confessing that Jesus died and then he rose with all power. Died for your sins, rose with the victory. Sits at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and me. Then come give your life to Christ. Just contact that information and we'll get in contact with you. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Yes? Just in case if you might not have realized it, let me be the first to tell you, yes, God is real. If you don't know, try him. Try him for yourself. He's real. 
and he'll be there for you. Because he promised never to leave you, for forsake you. God bless you today as I pray. Let me reach out to you. My brothers and sisters, I know we all have pride. and I know that it's hard to ask for help. But, but just as I stand here and ask for tithes and offering, I want to let you know that I want to know if you all know, might, somebody might need help too. The church is more than just a place where you bring money. But the church is, we are a family, we help you too. And I want you to know that I don't want nobody to be struggling because they're too proud for the ask for help. Because if you're going through, then we're going through. Because Jesus has put us here. It's his church. And he says here, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. So we want to let you know that we're here for you now. If you need help, reach out to the deacons and the trustees. And we will be there for you. Because we're our family. There's nobody better than St. Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church, 301 Carfield, Tennessee. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you all, y'all. Let us close that in prayer. You told me that I have Father. We thank you, man. We thank you for allowing us to have another worship hour. Yeah. We thank you for the songs been sung, scriptures read, the prayers prayed. Mm -hmm. Father God, we thank you for your word. Yeah. To remind us that whatever's going through, that we don't have no need to complain about it. But we still need to praise your holy name. There's no need to complain about the wrongs being done. There's no need to complain about those not being arrested. No need to complain about if it hadn't been on the other side. We didn't miss some of them. But we just got to learn to praise you for you being who you are. And no matter how devastating, how heartbreaking it might be, we got to learn that, 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 that you need, that we got to give you the praise. So, Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you and we bless your holy name. Now, Father God, we pray that this worship hour was well pleasing in our sight. And we pray that you have been glorified and the church has been edified. Now, Lord, keep us in our everlasting curve. Hold us in our own protection. Wrap your love in arms and, and bless us as only you can. Now, by the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest with the dying, henceforth now and forevermore. Let us all say together, amen, amen, amen. amen.